floriculture in Lucca and Versilia dates back to the first years of the 20th century, when flowers began to be planted and sold during the bathing season. In the span of a few decades, the sector consolidated and grew to the point that soon after World War II, the Viareggio flower market was inaugurated. Today, the second most important in Tuscany, and greenhouses were introduced to extend cultivation even to the winter months. The floricultural sector today is characterized by the quality of products, both flowers and potted flowering plants, with a total production of more than 30 million units for the internal and export markets. Its importance is further confirmed by the fact that since 2006, the Regional Administration of Tuscany has recognized the Interprovincial Floriculture District of Luca and Pistoia. The firms involved, almost all of them small, number about 1,000. As far as Pistoia is concerned, they are concentrated in the area of Pescia, and as far as Luca is concerned, in the Versilia area, without forgetting, however, a goodly presence on the plain and in the area of Borgo Amozzano. Today, the sector is unfortunately exposed to a very strong international competition from countries like Africa that have very low production costs. Their response is to bet on quality, such as the one that led to forming the Toscana Produce Consortium. The professionalism firms have acquired with time is of great importance, along with continuous technological innovations aimed at optimizing production in respect of the environmental impact. Among the most significant are sub-irrigation on pallets, flow and reflow, and the use of alternative energy sources. Two districts have been instituted in the region of Tuscany, the flower growing district of Luca and Pistoia and the nursery district of Pistoia on a surface area of approximately 1,000 square kilometers with homogeneous climatic conditions favorable to cultivation. In 2003, the first regional conference on agriculture conducted a census of the nursery gardening sector in the region of Tuscany, embracing all of the public institutions, cooperatives and professional organizations. Its purpose is to plan the territory's economic policies of the nursery gardening sector in our case. For the forthcoming years, we've resolved to work on research, alternative energy sources and promotion. As far as research is concerned, these three elements must concern the firms, the university research bodies and the financing body, in this case the regional administration or the ministry. So we're talking about small, targeted and short-term projects. As far as alternative energy sources are concerned, we're investing in the photovoltaic area and in both solid and liquid biomasses. As for promotion, we aim to attain a single program in the district territories. A few firms have already started obtaining the ISO 14000 environmental certification or the ISO 9 thousand quality certification. Moreover, the ISMEA consortium and firms have joined forces to define a system whereby the firms will seek quality certification. These are all certifications that give an added value to productions and qualify the firm as well. Among the flowering plants that most characterize the Luca Plain and the Middle Valley are the camellias and the azaleas. With their evergreen leafage and spectacular flowering, camellias entered the most prestigious villas of Luca in the course of the 19th century. The same plants, which have today grown to monumental dimensions, constitute an inestimable patrimony for beauty and rarity. This is confirmed by the annual flower show called Antiche Camellie della Lucchesia and by the Camellium Compitese, which hosts some of the oldest species. Azaleas, too, have found their optimum habitat for development and reproduction on Lucan territory, especially in the commune of Borgo Amozzano, which hosts the renowned biennial azalea show. The floricultural sector also finds important support in the Toscana Produce Consortium. Born from the sector entrepreneurs express intention to conduct numerous activities, territorial promotion and marketing, 
training courses and refresher seminars, market studies and research. The consortium is headquartered in Viareggio and its purpose is to support the entire supply chain to favor future developments.